Moving on, and it's time to meet our next guest. Zach Braff. You probably know him best as that funny guy from Scrubs. He would make a pretty girl. The leading man in his award-winning film Garden State. Or the tiny rooster in Chicken Little. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Well, now it's time to get to know him as a flying monkey in Disney's new adventure, Oz the Great and Powerful. You'll die, you'll die! Did those crows just say we're gonna die? Set before the events of Earl Frank Baum's classic, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Take five. Oscar Diggs, played by James Franco, finds himself hurled into the fantastical land of Oz where he must somehow transform himself into the great and powerful wizard with the help of three beautiful witches, some of Hollywood's biggest heavyweights and one cute winged monkey named Finley. Live from our Sydney studios, please welcome Zach Brown. <laughs> Hi. Hi, welcome. Now, we were chatting today, because we all remember watching The Wizard of Oz as a kid, and we were saying that it scared the living daylights out of us. I mean, do you yeah. remember watching it as a kid? Yeah, I remember those baboons really terrifying me. Um, <laughs> so I think this movie um, uh, they does not have some scary baboons, but they've made it PG and very kid-friendly because it wants to be fun for the whole family. Yeah, it looks amazing. I've seen, I've seen the trailer in 3D. It looks spectacular. Yeah, obviously, big names in this. James Franco, Michelle Williams, uh, Mila Kunis. You're an animated character. Did you get to work with those guys? Yeah, um, it wasn't the kind of thing where I was just in a sound booth. Uh, director Sam Raimi really wanted me there, you know. My character's 36 inches tall, so I spent a lot of time, like, sitting in a little ball on the floor trying to be as, <laughs> as short as possible, pretending to be this tiny monkey. And you also got to hang out with all those gorgeous women, didn't you? So, um, <laughs> that was... And women do love you. My wife just texted to say she loves you, so uh, Holly says, G'day, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I, I promise I've never met her. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, yeah, we have the most beautiful witches of any movie ever. I mean, seriously, most people think of a witch with warts and, 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 and a broom. We have uh, Mila Kunis, Michelle Williams, and Rachel Weiss. Well, speaking of uh, scary monkeys, you uh, tweeted, I think, a picture at the weekend of you and a koala bear. Were you uh, a bit yeah. intimidated by the koala? <laughs> Uh, listen, I, I was trying to stay awake because I didn't want to get jet lag, and they said, All right, we'll do something. Let's go to the zoo. The zoo will keep you awake. And they took me to uh, the koala exhibit with three sleeping koalas. <laughs> All I could think about was... Well, I, I was trying to find my own tree. <laughs> uh, now, obviously, very famous for Scrubs, Zach. I, I, scrubs was started when I was in medical school, and, and most of what I know as a doctor, pretty much I learnt from you <laughs> on that show. Have you uh -oh. ever... Have you, <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. have you ever been asked uh, for medical advice? No, but you know what's funny? It, Scrubs was such a silly show, but the doctors always tell us that it was the most medically accurate of all the shows. So that's, I always, I, I mean, I always knew that they really wanted it to be medically accurate, but more than like Grey's Anatomy or all the other like more serious ones, we were considered the most accurate. <laughs> now, the Grammys uh, were on today and you've won a Grammy yourself. It was a best soundtrack for, for Garden State. How are the after parties? How do they rate you, in all the after parties you've been to? Is the Grammys a good one? Oh, I don't remember. It was some years ago, and I think I was so shocked I won a Grammy that I that I had a couple drinks. Um, I do remember the, that um, I do remember Quentin Tarantino, who's a hero of mine, came up to me, and I thought, "Oh my goodness, I'm about to meet one of my heroes." And he said, "You stole my Grammy, man!" <laughs> and um, and uh, so that's the only thing my heroes ever said to me is I stole his Grammy. At least he spoke with you. At least he spoke with you. Well, Oz the Great and Powerful is out on March 7th. It looks brilliant. Would you please put your hands together for Zach Braff? Thank you. Have a great time here. Thank you.